Well, everyone, big game out here. Yeah, looking a bit different in the car. We're off to Hidden Chess Gaming up in Briley Hill. This is the first day it's going to be open, so we're going to go there, do a little bit of a look around, meet a few tubers. But first, we've got a couple of things we're going to go and do on the way. But uh, while we're there, we've got some food to eat, so I'm going to give these a go. A little journey up, it's about two hours' drive to where I'm going. Gonna go and meet some other tubers and we're gonna go somewhere else first, so uh, we'll chuck that footage in as well. So, yeah, here we go. So the first destination is the gaming pantry with the man himself, the retro bear. Hello viewers. There you go, I said there'd be some tubers in it. And we've also got Paul Deep Northerner. It's a good job no one else is here because I don't think we're out anymore we'll getting here. <laughs> yeah, it's, but, uh, <laughs> it's a bit close together, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we've got quite a lot of wee here. If you don't know the retro bear, he's well into his wee. What? We've just been talking no, about right, this, he is the wee man. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to another game shop now. You, Catch you in a bit. You so our first game shop of the day. Vintage Gamer. There's Russ hovering around the uh, bargain bucket bin again. I stopped myself going in there. Yeah. <laughs> the viewers want to see. Loads of stuff in here. Get yourself down here if you're in the uh, area. How was that, went? So, we made it. Hidden chest gaming. Greeted by a toilet on the right as you come in. So this is the first day it's open. So just behind the door here, you've got a few bits. Uh, next we got my NES collection. My NES collection originally was about six cartridges. So I know there's Those are PS1. Again, a couple of years. I've added for myself some people sent me some cartridges. Platinum's um, been put separately. Out, one of those. Couple came from Retro Chef as well. Um, and we've got my now Nintendo cardboard section. And also PS3 down there. The lads who went on the um, Retro Road Trip. Toward in last year. Oh, we're, I'm on TV. Cooper's World Big Game Allen <laughs> Retro Game Revival. Let's take that out of the way for a second. Sorry, lads. Nothing personal, but people want to see the games apart from loot batteries as well. So you've got boxed uh, Robocop. You sure? Uh, the the so the can from then we've got Here is the shop owner. Hi, Al. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Hidden Chess Gaming. <laughs> a game station on Local 10. Here's all, here's all the new stuff that I've been pointing in the direction of. Perfect Golf came off, uh, off eBay for about six quid. And then some oh, yeah. unboxed consoles. So, I'm not expanding the Nintendo cardboard. That may actually just say that he's bought the Nintendo cardboard section. There's towers being there. But again, not a problem because the next side of this. To blow in the dark, stick it with a shop load on. Some original Xbox. And we've got some real old stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at my uh, lock, lock down headband. And Xbox 360 there, sadly, so don't need any of it. And then loads of PS2. And it's all Amiga stuff. So, all boxed and complete. Up to Back to Future, like a Fire Corporation hard driving. And some little um, DS games and back, stuff down there. Epic Robocop 3 Lethal Weapon Premier, Assume Champion Manager, and 
Also some of the retro stuff here, some master system. Boxed Vectrex games. Labels on here. Now, here's an interesting label for you. Um, you'll see this next video on Microsoft Xbox Collection. Yeah. The original oh. Xbox Collection. Have these Some nice Pokemon bits. Some nice Japanese the Pokemon cards. That little bracket there to. Probably your handhelds there. Robots. Maybe before it. GameCube player. Wii. Now, the Wii. That Wii label. People really find it hard to believe. Sean, just for you. At one point, my Wii collection started there. The Call of Duty Vita. There went straight up. One thing people the man from the TV. Ross, how does it feel watching yourself on TV? Some nice newer figures. A couple of retro ones there. Nice Mr. Perfect up there. Do this. Two hundred pound. Their games. Great and price if anyone needs it. That. A very good reason for that. You can get more on a shelf. Don't believe me. It's absolutely true. You can get more games on a shelf by doing it that way. And that's why there's been so much change around. Yeah, I mean, initially a media game went around the top of the Commodore sixty four. I had. Um, you can see there was it NES in the corner. Yeah, NES. All the links to this shop will be down in the description as always. Please do come down here. Yes, you have Mega Drive, Master System, all across there, Super Nintendo, etc. Originally, I had PlayStation 1 down here. Dreamcast was actually in the corner, PlayStation 1 was across here. And then we've got a nice little toy room as well. Oh, some micro stuff here, 8 bit stuff. I know a lot of you like this stuff. Loads and loads of it. Also, if you're a bit bored, there's got some DVDs going on here. We've got a bit of uh, Mortal Kombat and a Koinox Xbox setup. And then we've got some really, really nice proper retro bits. Oh, they're quite nice little Looney Tunes figures in cars from Shell Garage. Mortal Kombat and He-Man, uh, not He-Man, Battle, Thundercats, that's the one, Star Wars, you want to shoot, yeah. some more Commodore 64 games, what we got down here, some cards, cards and collectibles, Pokemon cards, oh, there's loads in there, Come down here for all your Pokemon needs. Posters, £3 each. Action figures as priced. Oh, there's some nice ones in there. Some bits I recognise in here. Comics. Annuals. Oh, that's quite nice. So did you get electric set there? Might inquire about that. Pop figures. Board games. Some really, really nice Star Wars box figures here. Box things. Really, really nice. What we've got there, Zoids. Don't see that every day. Robo Force. Two of them. Two of you can come down and get them if you want. A really big Robo Force down there. And this guy here looks like he's asleep. Wake up! <laughs> he's fell over. Like one of the Sesame Street characters. No, nope, he's dead. <laughs> Elf! Whatever his name was. Alf. As in not Alf. Alf. He's seen better days. <laughs> More scale electrics. 
and then absolute tons of vintage vintage uh, games here board games some monopolies some new ones as well sealed the carlisle edition and whatever that one is a couple of nice sealed ones some fortnite ones 10 pound ain't bad and then you've got some more retro style ones up there magic the gathering vintage cars oh, i used to love these little model kits they were brilliant Lido, that's actually where I'm from, Enfield. Used to know a lot about toy cars. Used to collect a lot of them. Oh, micro machines and Lego. Here we go. This is my sort of thing. I love all this. Some Lego figures, bits. What's in there? This is really cool. Little micro machines truck, all opens out. Some turtles, turtles Lego. Just missing Splinter. I need Sensei Splinter. Splinter is not there. Got shredded. He's quite nice. Got Robin, no Batman. Warrior. Here is Hidden Chess Gaming again. Riley Hill. Pause the video here and you can get the address. Get yourself down here. Oh, they're Spongebob ones, good quality. Some trolls. Really retro Sabutio stuff. Matchbox Linkets, never seen them. Oh, I used to remember these. Uh, oh, God, years ago. Those was Holston days. Robson. Oh, Peter Beasley. Oh, dinosaurs. Quality. Some WWF stuff. Little belt, you don't normally see them. Late great Audrey the Giant. Loads of VHS. All your VHS needs are here. Nice Charmander, plushy. Oh, big one, eh? Oh. one. For all your horror fans, it's a Chucky. Simpsons figure up there, and then Warhammer. Of course, he does Warhammer as well. Loads of Warhammer here. Quite nice prices as well. Not bad. Even got some of the guide, the official books down here. Warhammer books, they're quite collectible. Oh, I used to like these little turtles. Used to get them out of the McDonald's toys. Turtles and the crocodiles. Monsters in your pocket. Mini Bobbins. Wrestlers in your pocket. Loads of nostalgia in this shop. Oh, look, Blood Bowl. We've got that for uh, Xbox to play. Oh, I've actually got one. He's in the draw. 20 quid. Tazo one, yeah. Star Wars plushes. Oh, I didn't see all them toys there. Look at that. Quality stuff. Star Wars plushes. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Star Wars things. Loads of Star Wars figures. Actually, quite a lot of them in here. Um, 
for all you Star Wars figures out there, collectors. Quite a good price as well, isn't it? No, they're quite new, but still, competitive prices. And then Slimer coming down to this beast. The fire station. There is a bag full of them down there. The blue, just want to see if it's the clear bags of customs. Then these ones are the Echo one. So then all uh, Quality. That was a fun idea playing with this. And then all the figures. Oh, look at that. Loads of Egon figures. Vintage one there, £25. That's not bad. Oh, I used to love these, the toilets press the top and the monster used to come out, well, the ghost used to come out of them. Oh, what a smell, oh man. Thundercats figures. We've got some turtle stuff, this is pretty cool. Turtles coins. 25 pounds, that's probably not bad. I had that many years ago collecting that. Some mask figures, <laughs> cars and trucks. I still love masks. Just enjoy masks better than Transformers. No action force. Just gonna squeeze past Paul. Oh, oh. <laughs> The turtles truck with some figures, boxed. Some other little bits and pieces. And all the turtles figures. Fantastic shop this. Oh, look at them. Transforming ones, so their head used to change. They're brilliant. Is that Captain Scarlet? No, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll give it to you cash. Yeah, so I even like that. Oh, was that all them turtles? Toys, all them turtles ones? Good job, I filmed that before you took them. <laughs> if you did want them turtles, Lego, they're not here anymore. <laughs> Power Ranger stuff. Old Jurassic Park. And then finish it off with some more Warhammer. Loads of stuff. I've bagged uh, Mark's stuff up out. Lovely. So that is the end of the tour. Would the owner like to give us any more information about the store? I uh, just want to say thank you for everyone who's turned up. Um, we were open on Fridays and Saturdays from 12 till 6. Come along. I'm sure Al's going to put the phone number and the address yep. in the description below. And just come along to Hidden Gems Gaming and have a look around. Take it easy. Brilliant. Catch you all later. Hopefully you come down here and spend some love money in this lovely local retro game shop. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.